In this video, I'm going to be discussing a 125% boost and a $1,568 monthly check for Social Security with a new plan they're discussing. That's the focus of this video. Let's get into it and talk through the details. All right, now in this video, there is a lot of information. There's a lot of details and there's a lot of numbers that I'm going to be talking about, but I will try to buzz through all the details about this and I'll try to explain it in such a way that actually makes sense. But there's a couple plans out there from a few prominent people that want to change Social Security, reform the program in a major way, and lift benefits for low-income beneficiaries substantially up to that $1,568 monthly benefit level. And again, I will discuss the details about that. There's also a bunch of parameters about this number that, all, that we need to take into consideration because it's all pegged off of another benchmark number that also recently updated for 2024. Are you confused yet? Well, again, uh, let me explain all this for you. There's a lot of details behind all these numbers. All right, so here's what it comes down to. It all comes down to the special minimum benefit for Social Security beneficiaries. There is such a thing in place. In fact, as of right now, guess what the minimum benefit for Social Security is as of right now? You'll probably not guess the number. It is very, very small. It's a little over $50 a month. Seriously, that is the minimum benefit right now for Social Security in 2024, a little over $50 a month. Who's going to do anything with $50 a month? I mean, seriously, what is that really going to get you, right? <laughs> maybe pay a phone bill, maybe pay like a portion of like a utility bill. It's not going to do anything, right? It'll buy you like, I don't know, six boxes of cereal. It's not going to do anything, right? Well, as a result of that, there are prominent people out there, including the president who has this within his four-pronged plan to actually change and reform Social Security to lift minimum benefits up to at least $120. 25% of the federal poverty line. All right, so let me explain the details. All right, so number one is the federal poverty line increases every single year as a result of a variety of factors, including inflation and a bunch of other factors. Well, this year for 2024, the federal poverty line has increased over last year by 3.29% from last year of $14,580. It increased by uh, f uh, $480 this year up to $15,060 for the entire year, okay? So that is the new federal poverty line for 2024, which by the way, $15,060 divided out on a monthly basis is $1,255 a month is what the federal poverty line is right now for 2024. However, remember, they want to increase the minimum benefit up to 125% of the federal poverty line. So now let's run some more math on this. Luckily, I already did it, okay? Let me explain the numbers for you. So here's what it is. They want to increase the special minimum benefit, again, up to 125% of the federal poverty line. And as I just said, that is $15,060 a year or $1,255 a month. So now if we run the math on this, a 125% increase on the $1,255 monthly uh, federal poverty line number would bring us up to a minimum benefit of $1,568 a month is what they want to raise these benefits up to as the special minimum benefit, which by the way, this is for the lowest income beneficiaries out there. And this is what they want to do. Now, again, let me reemphasize, this has not been passed yet, okay? Just like so many pieces of legislation that are out there, this has not passed yet. However, why would I talk about such a thing then? If it hasn't passed, why would I even talk about it? Well, for the same exact reason that I've said a thousand times before in other videos, we need to watch all of this closely because here's the thing. Lawmakers are going to be changing Social Security. Whether we like it or not, Social Security will be changed and Social Security will be reformed. As a result of that, we don't know what that reform is going to be yet. We don't have a clue yet. They don't even know what it's going to be yet. As a result of that, we want to continue watching all of these different aspects, all of the different uh, changes that could be happening to Social Security because at any given point, they might come up with a little plan that says, hey, we're going to do these seven things to Social Security to change the program and to raise benefits and to increase solvency and to raise taxes and, you know, adjust the COLA slash do whatever else they talk about, right? 
They talk about so many different things right now. Well, as a result of that, this is one of them that is out there. And again, this is part of the president's four-pronged plan. You've heard me talk about that before. The president has come out and talked about this four-pronged plan that he believes is the best solution to change social security. Well, this is one of the, pr the prongs of the four-pronged plan, okay? Well, as a result of that, would this be life-changing for a lot of people? Which, by the way, this would encompass millions of people. In fact, I've seen numbers out there that this would impact about 9 million people, 9 million low-income beneficiaries. Beneficiaries. Do you think that'd be a little bit life-changing for you and your monthly benefit? I think so. Again, I don't want to speak for anybody. That's not my job here. That's not my duty. That's not what I ever want to do. Never want to speak for anybody. But I'm just simply saying, I think that would be life-changing. Taking a benefit from a little over $50 a month up to $1,568. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be a, a pretty life-changing for a lot of people, right? Yeah, exactly, right? Now, obviously, not everybody gets a minimum benefit of $50 a month, but you know, you get my point here, right? So anyway, that is the detail behind this. Now, let's just say that they delay on this. Let's just say that they drag their feet on this thing for another year. Wow, a whole another year has gone by. They've wasted more time and they've done nothing. Well, guess what happens at that point? Now the federal poverty line has increased yet again. How much for next year? I don't know. We don't know. It's very far away from right now for 2025. But my point is, let's just say the federal poverty line increases another, I don't know, $500. Well, guess what? Now the special minimum benefit has also increased if they were to implement it at that time because now the federal poverty line has increased. And remember, they want to increase it by 125% of the federal poverty line. Does that kind of make sense? So again, You've heard me talk about the federal poverty line before in other videos. Why do I make such a big deal about it? Because it's a big, big deal. This is a benchmark. This is a line in the sand that is identified on the federal level every single year. And it basically makes people who are above the line uh, not very eligible for a lot of programs. If you're at or below the federal poverty line, now suddenly the floodgates have opened up and you're eligible for a lot of programs out there dependent on that federal poverty line. The higher that it goes, the more people that are eligible for other benefit programs. It's pretty important, right? You've heard me talk about it. That's why it's such a big deal and it updates every year. So this is what I want to bring to your attention really quickly. And again, I know it's a little bit confusing. I know a lot of numbers here, but I hopefully uh, explain this in such a way that makes sense. Otherwise, as always, leave your comments, your questions, your feedback down below. Otherwise, subscribe down below. If you haven't done so yet, big subscribe button down there. Make sure to hit that so you can stay tuned with what's going on. Otherwise, as always, go back and check out any of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel including the thousands that I have in the video library or those that I have hand selected down below in the description of this video or at the top of the comment section. And as always, share the video with your friends on social media with the big share button down below as well. Until next time, enjoy your day. Take care. Hope this one helps you and I will catch you again later in the next video. I'll see you for now.